Okay. Okie dokie. Cleared off most of my stuff. My spare tire, jack, everything. Got it out of the car. Hopefully this is a lot lighter and, you know, let's see how much miles I get with this without all the extra stuff. Just for reference, this is how much stuff I was talking about. Okay guys, so basically I did a some weight reduction for my Chevy Velt. And this is just getting rid of all the excess stuff in my car and getting a tally of how much they weigh in case you guys are interested in it. So what I had was I took out all these items, the spare tire, as you can see, spare tire, tools, miscellaneous stuff in a bag, my backpack, uh, my travel bags, and other things I go for my long distance drives that I usually drive every two, three weeks. That's over 300 miles in the middle of the desert going up to Northern California. So I made a, I weighed each of these items. So this is actually the spare tire. It's a right off of a, it's my spare tire I got for the temporary one off of a uh, Chevy Cruze I bought. The jack and tools I bought that were not included with the Chevy Volt. That's another five pounds. Miscellaneous stuff, you know, in the car, like the rear detector and other things that were just lying around in there, like charger packs and other things. The emergency pack, which is my little bug out bag in case I get stuck somewhere in the zombie apocalypse. That's about 12 pounds. A gallon of water was another three pounds. School books. I have class next week, but that's it's gonna probably end, so I don't have to carry my school books with me. But that's about you know 16 pounds. That also includes my work laptop and stuff. Gas. I usually keep a full tank of gas topped off, and it's we carry about 8.9 gallons of gas, and it's at 6.18 pounds a piece. So I usually carry about 55 pounds of gas. Total for the stuff is about 79 pounds. For a total width of gas, so a full tank of gas, is about 134 pounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave most of the stuff out. And in the city time, when I have AAA and, you know, well, not OnStar anymore. OnStar is ending this month. Uh, I'm going to see if I can just reduce it down to 10 pounds. Because I figure I could call AAA to get, you know, jack and tools and stuff. Um, of course, if I do have a flat, you know, they can't exactly fix it. I do have my, um, my patch kit with me. And that's probably a few pounds, but I'd rather have that than not. Um, but I figured they could probably tow me or something like that, but I, I prefer not to. I might just put my spare tire back in. But I'm going to drive for a few days with just 10 pounds, roughly. And I'm not sure about the gas. I think the gas, I could probably lower that. And But I sell a full tank, so no big deal. I'm just going to keep it in there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to lower it to not carry my spare tire, not carry the jack and tools. I'm just going to carry some miscellaneous tools, uh, which is probably around 5 pounds or so. Um, which is going to be part of this, you know, 10 pound thing because it has scissors and pliers and a small wrench and stuff like that. Um, emergency pack I'll leave home, all these other things I'll leave home, even the water I'll leave home. School books and laptop, my work laptop will probably be about 10 pounds I'm guessing. And bag and stuff, it'll probably be another 10 pounds. So, and gas, of course, which is another 55 pounds. Okay, so. So, basically, total will be about roughly extra, would be about 75 pounds. That's half of the amount um, that I normally carry. That went virtually half, almost. 75 pounds versus 134 pounds. This should be pretty cool. I mean, we, that's a little bit of a weight savings according to hypermiling and, anyways, gas efficiency stuff. This should save me some percentage, I guess, but we'll see. We'll see this week in the next few days. But I don't plan to keep this, this light that often because I'm going to be driving back up in the next week. So, all this stuff will go back into my car along with my luggage and other things and my gear, other gear that I carry when I, when I go to Northern California. And of course, a full tank of gas. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I figure I'd give you a quick uh, update. This is what I'm going to do in the next couple of days and see if it actually does affect MPG by removing all this weight. Anyways, thanks a lot, guys. See ya. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe for more. Thanks.